So now that I'm ready to do a spot prime on the Aston, um, I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about case hardening. Uh, so what is case hardening? Case hardening is when, in this circumstance, in this particular case, I had blocked this car, kind of started here and ended there, wherever I started, wherever I ended. Uh, this car, the primer, has sat for days, maybe even a week, um, that I've sanded this, moved on, got got an area ready for a spot prime and moved on. So the first area that I started sanding has probably sat for a week or more uh, since I've sanded it. And what's happening is as this primer is, is drying and things uh, are evaporating into the air, the solvent is leaving. Even though I let this primer sit for about three or four days, uh, which according to our shrink test is enough to make 2050 stop shrinking. But uh, 2050 uses a ketamine activator, which is somewhat of a self-healing activator. So when I sanded this, sure, you can still see that there's sand scratches in it for mechanical adhesion. But when I sanded this, uh, these, these sand scratches were, I sanded this out with 240. So we've got a 240 scratch in there. Well, as that, as that uh, activator, that self-healing property, it, it actually will take a sand scratch, a 240 scratch, and it'll close it up even more. And that's why it's always a good idea to scuff everything just before masking. Even, uh, even if I were to have scuffed this yesterday and masked it and said, okay, I'm gonna prime it in the morning, it's always a good idea to at least come back with a scotch braid or a, or a 3M foam pad and, and just scuff everything again to put a fresh scratch in before you top coat. Even before paint, uh, it's always a good idea to scuff it the same day that you're gonna paint. You know, scuff it, get it in the booth, mask it, paint it. Don't let it sit in the booth mask for two or three days or whatever. So case hardening happens to just about every product, not not as much, uh, not, not only the products that use ketamine as an activator, it's uh, every product, especially like a 2K surfacer, being that they take so long to stop shrinking and there's constantly solvents coming out of them for sometimes months at a time, uh, those those scratches that you have, if you got it blocked out to say 400 and you think you're gonna seal it and paint it, well, if you let it sit, those scratches are getting smaller and smaller. You're, it's, gonna, it's not that your paint won't stick, but it will stick better with a fresh scuff before paint. We're gonna be going into more detail about case hardening and, and many other things in, uh, in our upcoming classes. We've got a Resto 101 class coming up in April that is filled. And we've also got a Auto Body Basics class coming up in May, which still has spots available. Uh, our next Resto 101 class will be in July.